Hey cinephiles, Jezebel is hitting theaters this week. The film follows a young woman who returns to her childhood home after surviving a car accident, only to be tormented by a spirit that's been awaiting her return. Here are five other houses and movies we would not want to spend the night in. Number 5. The Amityville Horror George and Kathy Lutz move their family into 112 Ocean Avenue, completely unaware of the property's chilling past. There's more than a bad fly infestation to deal with, it's the unseen visitors who lend a possessive hand to ruining your mental well-being that you really have to watch out for. You know it's time to leave when the walls start bleeding. 28 days after the Lutz family moved into their dream house, they were running for their lives. Number 4. House Nobuhaiko Abayashi's simply and aptly titled film has become a cult classic since its 1977 release. When a schoolgirl named Gorgeous brings six of her classmates to visit her aunt's home for a summer trip, none could have predicted the bizarre events that follow. From a man-eating piano to imprisonment within a grandfather clock, what could be more terrifying than a domestic space filled with household objects that have it out for you? This treasure would have been hard to track down if it weren't inducted into the Criterion Collection in 2010. Number 3. Poltergeist Perhaps the most unnerving element of the suburban home in the Steven Spielberg-produced horror classic is how unthreatening and normal it appears to be. But one night under this roof could leave you a victim to a demon tree, doors to other dimensions, and the dangers of sitting too close to the television set. If nothing else, Poltergeist has taught us to make sure any property we purchase has no history of being cemetery grounds. Number 2. House of 1000 Corpses Two couples interested in pursuing urban legends and roadside attractions get way more than they bargain for when they stumble upon a sadistic family of serial killers in Rob Zombie's directorial debut. As if the film's title weren't repellent enough, each family member has a strange definition of hospitality, from feeding you Agatha Crispies for breakfast to carving you up for the sake of art. Zombie was heavily influenced by the likes of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Hills Have Eyes, somehow managing to create a space even more unpleasant to be in. Number 1. Juan, The Grudge After a cruel bout of domestic violence, a vengeful spirit is formed, bent on pursuing and haunting any who entered the Tokyo home. Even if you survived a single night at the house in Juan, the curse-carrying ghost would follow you to your inevitable end. Juan played a big role in bringing J-horror to the 21st century. Takashi Shimizu directed an American remake of his own film two years later with The Grudge. These are just five of countless movie houses we wouldn't want to be caught dead in. We know you have some in mind, so please share and discuss in the comments below. Thanks for watching.